So for this entire slide, these are all done the exact same way. We have a trinomial in the format ax squared plus bx plus c. And we're going to factor by grouping. So in part a here, off to the side, we have a to be 2, c to be 30, so a times c is 60. And now we need to find the factors of 60 that add up to 17. And you can say 12 and 5. So instead of 17x squared, we can say 12x plus 5x. Again, you could say uh, 5x plus 12x does not matter. When you have your four terms here, we're going to group the first two, group the second two. From the first group, we can pull out a 2x. If we pulled out a 2x, we'd be left with x plus 6. And then from the second group, we can pull out a 5. And we're left with, again, x plus 6. And they both have an x plus 6, so let's take out the x plus 6. And we're left with 2x plus 5. So that is the factorization of 2x squared plus 17x plus 30. Let's try another one. Again, start off with a times c. Actually, what I should say is, what's the first thing you do in factoring? Always, always. You check that there's a GCF, and none of these on this slide have a GCF. Um, if they did have a GCF, you'd have to pull it out first. So because of that, we go right to the a times c. So our a times c would be 6 times negative 4 is negative 24. And then the factors of negative 24 that add up to negative 5 would be negative 8 and 3. As discussed in the previous video, it's best to put the negative 1 first um, so that you avoid not pulling out a negative correctly. So now we can rewrite the trinomial as 6x squared minus 8x plus 3x minus 4. So instead of that negative 5x now, we have a negative 8x plus 3x. And now we group. From the first group, we can pull out a 2x. And we are now left with a 3x minus 4. From the second group, we can pull out 1 because the 3x minus 4 is prime. They both have a 3x minus 4, and we're left with 2x plus 1. So that is the factorization of 6x squared minus 5x minus 4. Now before we do the last one here, I'll ask you to pause the video, try it on your own, and uh, play the video, see how you did. Okay, so let's multiply 20 times 24. 20 times 24 is 480. 480 would factor as negative 15 and negative 32. Well, it factors a bunch of ways, but we need to make sure that it adds up to negative 47. So that's why we're using negative 15 and negative 32. All right, breaking it up, be careful here. We have 20x squared minus 15x minus 32x plus 24. Grouping two by two. Group the first two. Again, put the negative with the third term and put a plus sign in between. From the first group, we can pull out a 5x and you are left with 4x minus 3. From the second group, we need to make sure we pull something out so that we're left with 4x minus 3, so we need to pull out a negative 8, not just an 8, a negative 8, and we'd be left with 4x minus 3. They both have a 4x minus 3. Taking that out, we are left with a 5x minus 8. 
So that is our final answer. Now, uh, again, if you put it as negative 32 and then negative 15, so an opposite order, or reverse order, I should say, um, you'll still get the same answer, but your intermediate work will be different, but your final factorization will be 4x minus 3 times 5x minus 8, again, in either order.